prep zone. Oh my goodness! Price splash down. Welcome to the Prep Zone. My name is Grant Yenny. Tonight we're here at Rebel Stadium as Salmon travels to take on the Pearl River Rebels. It's a big rivalry matchup. And for more analysis, let's bring in a coach who has coached in this rivalry matchup many times, Coach Tiger Edwards. Coach, how big is this over here? Oh, this is big. Pearl River versus Salmon at Pearl River. Pearl River, it's like it's like a rivalry game. It's like a cross-town rivalry. Because how far are we away? Four or five miles? I don't know. It's big. There's big playoff implications in this matchup. What do we know about that tonight? It's big and it's weird. It's weird because the LHSAA came up with a formula and all of a sudden they're playing in the same district against each other, but it, they would not be in the playoffs if they both make it and they're both in contention. They're in, they're, if we were playing tonight, they'd be in, but Pearl River is in Division Two. Salmon is in Division One. How that happened, I don't know. Some guy in an office with no windows, and that's where we are. And we'll have more analysis from the press box. I spoke with both coaches moments ago. Let's hear what they had to say, and we'll get to the action. Coach, it's the final push toward the playoffs. It's a rivalry game against Salmon. What are you telling your guys coming into this one tonight? Oh, you just can't get you can't get too high. You can't get too low. You just got to keep playing, doing what you're doing, trying to play uh, mistake free mistake free football, and um, you know approach it like any other game, even though it's not any other game. Approach it like any other district game, and uh, try to play mistake free. What's it going to take to, uh, aside from playing mistake free, what's it going to take to beat a team like Salmon tonight? Well, first of all, slow down their running game, and number two, uh, not turn the ball over. We can't, we can't turn the ball over and expect to win. Coach, last time we saw your team was week two against North Shore. How's your team uh, progressed through the rest of the season uh, to get to this matchup tonight? Uh, very carefully, we progressed. Hopefully, we made some progress. You know, all we need to do is be one and zero every week, and that's what we, we're trying to accomplish tonight. What's it going to take to defeat Pearl River? Uh, we got to get our running game going, you know, and uh, our offensive line has been doing a real good job, and Kaz is doing a great job running the ball, and Jacoby Jefferson also. We got to get those two guys rolling. Barricat to kick it away to get us underway in this rivalry matchup. He boots it deep. This will be returned by Brown from the five yard line, taking it forward, looking for blocks, patient running there. He'll get it out to about the 23 yard line. and. We'll get our first look at Pearl River's Our offense tonight. And speaking of first looks, Tiger, we are getting our first look. This is our first home game for Pearl River this season. We're getting a look at this beautiful turf field that they have here. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. It's lit up. They've got new fencing on the sidelines. They got, in fact, the sidelines are a little bigger, which they needed. Uh, the, the walkway between the stadium and the sideline is bigger. It, everything looks good here. And, and uh, Let's see how the how good the uh, the Rebels look. Empty set for Wadsworth, puts a guy in motion. Now he has somebody in the backfield, and will we have an illegal shift off the bat? Oh, false start. So that'll back up Pearl River on their first play. That's not how you want to start this. Home game, homecoming. Home, home, home game, homecoming crowd. Yeah. You, yes, you want to be ready to go. Motion once again. Wadsworth calling for it. Tosses it out. It's complete out to Jenkins. Tackle there by Damon Narcisse. Nice job on that uh, quick uh, wide receiver screen. They uh, did a good job of throwing that for a two-yard loss. That makes it second down and 13. And this time it's an eye formation. Wadsworth under center. He'll give to Jenkins. And Jenkins is bottled up and driven back by uh, Lacoste, among other Spartans. Yeah, Lacoste and Richard uh, uh, Shepard on that stop did a great job. Got about one on it. Going to bring up third and 11. 
with Wadsworth coming over to the sideline to get the play and then runs it into the huddle to we've, deliver We've it. had this before. We did. Someone. We saw it with the Lakeshore Titans. That's it. Something that you don't really see much anymore. No. They're in pretty good shape, though, these quarterbacks. Wadsworth calling for it, looking to pass here on third down, slings it out here near side, and it falls incomplete intended for Sean Jenkins. Out route there, and it was a little high, but we've got a flag on the field. Legal, so an illegal man downfield. Down field. They're going to decline that, force the punt, it's my guess. Penalty. Yep, there it is. So fourth down, the punt unit. There they go. It was delayed. I was wondering for a second yeah. there if they were making some uh, pirate calls. But nope, the punt unit goes out, and he'll be punting from the four-yard line. Looks like they're all rushing, but are they? That's the question. Snap is back. Good snap. And good ooh, run. Punt is blocked. It. There you go. And Salmon punt hauls it in. Air. Rushing forward into the end zone. Jaquel Hogan. What a play there. I, and I think I was almost calling this. It looks like they're going to all go. And it looked like a sieve right there as they broke through. Block. And, and then Hogan runs it in. Yeah, big touchdown there to start off the game for the Spartans. Extra point unit now on. It'll be a Barricat to attempt the extra point. Snap is back, kick is up, and it is good. 10.32 to go here in the first, and Salmon leads 7-0. Barrick had to kick this one away following the Salmon score. This one's booted deep, but it'll be returned. Rushing forward, has a hole, and he, oh, wow, trucks a guy. It's Brown on the return, and he'll get out to the 40-yard line before being brought down by Spillers. Yeah, DeMar DeMarcus Spillers finally brought, broke him down, uh, brought him down as he busted through a sure tackle, open field tackle there, and got extra yardage. Good field position now for Pearl River, who struggled in the first, um, on their first possession. So let's see if they can find a little something here. Second possession, trailing seven nothing. Wadsworth calls for it. Give goes to Jenkins, lays a lick on the first hit. Second guy brings him down. That is a uh, Darian Jen J uh, Jenkins. So that will make it second down and six. Brian Jenkins, 5'8", 191. But don't let that fool you, he's a runner. He's a star. He's been a starter since he was a freshman here at Pearl River. Wadsworth this time fakes to give to Jenkins, tosses it out. It's complete, and that's good for a first down for Pearl River, complete to Dalton Sabbath. Good job of using Jenkins as a decoy there on the play action, finds the tight end out there, and boom, first down. And a, yeah, fresh set of downs from the 44-yard line, 9.40 to go here in the first quarter. And a two-back set here for Wadsworth. Calls for it, give, goes straight ahead. Hard running, but brought down by the Spartans was uh, Noah Benson. And Benson's just a freshman. Uh, Darion Jenkins on the tackle there, uh, but not after he got four. So it's second out six. So we have on one side of the ball, we have Jenkins, and on the other side, we have two Jenkins. Oh, man. Going to be so a, pardon us tonight. Yes, please pardon <laughs> us. And it looks like we're going to have a uh, equipment malfunction. So the officials are sending somebody to the sideline. And in goes uh, Brendan Moody. At 
now more confusion as the so now okay so there was a guy who didn't have his knee pads so now he's getting sent the guy who came in to replace the guy who was initially sent out just got sent out and here's number three the third man Noah Paul. Nolan Singletary. Singletary and say coach put me in and no yeah. not now put me in not now but get in get in now <laughs> you have to go in. yeah so and that'll do he has his knee pads in place and the give goes to Jenkins and Stellar job by this Salmon uh, defensive line busting through got, got and stopping him at the up. line. Uh, Austin Wadsworth right there stood him up, the linebacker. That'll make it third and seven for Pearl River. They went back to that running play where Jenkins got through before. This time it wasn't going to happen. I think they need, okay, more subs. So Moody is back in. Wadsworth calling for it here on third down, looking to pass. It's a screen up to Jenkins. Breaks away from the first, and he'll be brought down after getting a first down. Yeah, middle screen that time. Great job because they've, they've been get, kind of getting a little pressure from the Salmon front four. That time they let him in, got behind it, dumped it over to Jenkins, picks up a first down. Good play call there. Motion. And Wadsworth calls for it, give goes to Jenkins, and he was immediately met in the backfield. Yeah, that was 73. We don't we don't he's not on our roster. He's not on our roster here. But uh an exceptional job by number 73. Oh yeah, he's it, he immediately broke through. He, he had gotten through and got him in the backfield. A loss of about one, a little more than one, one and a half, whatever. I don't know. If it's one and a half, is it two? How do they? It, it is. I see what you're It is one and a half, though. <laughs> Motion. Wadsworth calling for it, looking to pass. Rolling to his right. It's a throw back. And it's complete to uh, Benson for a modest game. Tackled by Desmond Beasley on that one, number 23. Going to bring up second and, or third oh, and third, ten, excuse third me. Third and ten. So about a gain of a yard and a half on this. Yeah. Game. So in the stats book, is that that's why I said, is it a yard and a half or is it really two? Two. Do they go, they round up or round down? I don't know. Motion. Wadsworth calling for it. Takes the give. Pressure immediately coming. Wadsworth rolling. Launches it. Complete. And it's down to the 20-yard line after the complete pass to Sean Jenkins. Tackle up there by Caleb Lacoste, but he, he Jenkins was open. And I don't see any move. Ah. Uh oh. Okay. So they call rough. They call roughing on Salmon. Roughing the passer, or roughing. Put the ball to wait. So Wadsworth to the play in, but now yeah. rough in the passer, yes. Yeah. yeah. So the uh, ball down to the 10 yard line. So moving the ball real good here, right in this second possession, are the Rebels trying to tie it up. Wadsworth calls for it. Give goes to Benson. And he's he's tackled after about a three yard game. Yeah, Darion. Jenkins is uh, on the tackle. Well, it looks like we have a flag down. Let's see. An illegal shift called on Pearl River. Ooh. So that'll that, drop him back. That's not what you want to do when you when you get down there in the red zone on first and on first and ten. You get taken back five yards. Going to be first and fifteen. From the 15. Excuse me, the uh, 17. 17. Yeah. Is it? No, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, about the 15. Yeah. 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 
they can still make a first down. Wadsworth, give goes to Benson. Left side, and he runs into a host of Spartans there, but he's driving them back. He stays on his feet and never went down. Hard good, running. Hard, good, hard running right there by Benson. Uh, like you said, he didn't go down. And uh, How about this? Yeah, Just a freshman, Noah Benson. Hey, the best thing about it is he's, he still has a chance to be a sophomore, junior, and senior. For so, sure. Yeah. That bodes well for the future, especially when you have uh, Brian Jenkins, who's been a star for four years. He'll be leaving after this season. Somebody's got to take the, his spot. Exactly. Here's Benson in motion. Wadsworth fakes the give, looking to pass. Slings it out. It's complete. Now rushing forward, and he is in, in the for the score. Dalton Sabbath. Tight end again. Play action pass. That pass they threw earlier. He runs in a little bit of an out, finds an open spot. Uh, Quarterback drilled it in there, and he got in the end zone. An excellent job. Extra point coming to tie this one up here in the first quarter. It'll be uh, Keaton Finn out of the Trey Turnage hold. Snap is back, kick is up, and it's – I don't – I think they were – yeah, there's a flag down. I think Salmon jumped. Well, this will move him a little bit closer. I also, I don't know if that kick was good. I don't know. So it's nice to have a do-over here for Pearl well, River. Yes. It, it, unless, I don't know, what are they doing? They haven't decided. What are they going to do? Uh, offsides. Declined. They're going to. What? That was confusing. Yeah, Didn't he say he, decline? He signaled decline, but the ball got moved. So that. Uh, they're going to do it again. All he right. must have missed it. That's the yeah. only thing right. that would explain that. Snap is back. Kick is up, and it is. That one is good. Good. So Pearl River ties it up. 4.33 to go here in the first quarter. Tied up 7-7. Seven, seven. So Finn to boot this one away. And it'll be returned by the Spartans from the 10 yard line, bringing it forward with speed, room to run, and he's tripped up as he gets out to the 40 yard line. That was uh, DeMarcus, no it wasn't. We don't have a number two on our roster. No we don't. So interesting little statistic right now for you. There's been seven minutes and 27 seconds gone in this quarter. This is going to be the first offensive play for Salmon. That's right. And we we're tied at 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, we haven't seen Castnave and company yet. We're about to. First and 10 from the just past the 40-yard line. Motion across. Calls for it. Give go. No, he gets a keeper. He's rushing himself. That'll be a first down, but there's a flag down on the uh, keeper from Cameron Dorsey. Wow, good, good fake there. Wow. Fake me. I mean, I think everybody thought Casnave was going to get it because he's, you know, right. he does it all over there. But Right. Good fake and keep, <laughs> and then a, um, a four, well, it's going to be a, obviously against Pearl River. Yeah, they're moving the ball down to the 33-yard line. So on that, apparently on that tackle, there was um, the tackle of the man that didn't have the ball, you know. So first and 10 from the 33 for Salmon. Snap is high, but handled. Give goes to Casnave, busting through, spins away, and he'll get down to the 25-yard line. Good hard running inside by Kaznave. He went left side behind uh, 52, Corey McDonald, and 55, Elias Carpio. And just a two yards shy of the first down. It'll be second and a long one, actually. Dorsey calls for it, looking to pass. Slings this one right side, has a man in the end zone, and it falls incomplete. Too far, too far. 
Good attempt. He had Kaznave in the flat over there, but uh, uh, Dorsey decided to go way up top, and uh, he threw it way out of bounds. We'll work on getting a name for number two. Not on our roster. Also 73. We need to get that name as well. So, Calling for it, give goes to Kasnave, straight ahead, bust through, dragging a defender, a flag comes out and he'll be brought down. Let's see what this flag is. And that's straight power right there, straight power running right ahead. We're gonna have uh, hold, it's coming back it looks like. Holding. Holding. So it's coming back. Holding. I mean, that was a pretty wide open hole there. That was a real wide open hole. And uh, not going that way. I think. There seems to be some confusion with the chain gang. Yes. Is it? Whoa. <sighs> yeah. First down. I guess he made a first down, then they brought it back with the penalty. Yeah. Yeah. Calling for it. Give goes to Kasnave, rushing forward down. Five steps away from another, and Kasnave is into the end zone for the score. Wow. Wow. Let me tell you something. He's right out of the... Uh, um, running back mode of old Salmon Spartan days gone by. His, he's, he's big, tough, and runs hard and fast. And it's hard to take those guys down, especially high. Correct. Yeah, there's, you have no chance. High. Barricat to attempt the point after. Kick is up, and it is... Good. 2.44 to go here in the first quarter, and Salmon's up 14-7. So Barricat to kick this one away following the Casnave score. Brown and Jenkins back to return. Barricat kicks it, looks to be Brown once again. Brown will take it from the three-yard line, rushing forward. And he will be bottled up and brought down at about the 33-yard line. A good run, a good return there from Brown. Tackled by Thomas Knight and other Spartans. So now we'll see this another outing for Pearl River as right. they look to uh, tie it up. Third possession for the Rebels. And Salmon, one for one on offensive possessions. Yes, they are. Right 235 to go, first quarter. Wadsworth under center, motion from Benson. Calls for it, it's a toss out to Jenkins, and uh, Jenkins will get a good gain, but the flag will likely bring it back. Good yards, left side. Tackle wow. over there by Mason Dobard, uh, where Jenkins almost ran over him. He just kind of hung on for dear life gr gr the grab on and bring him down yeah yeah i used to do that as an offensive lineman when a defensive lineman would get the best of me the problem is that's holding, holding. Yeah. when you do it on the offensive line i would have <laughs> advised you not to do that <laughs> however a different time in a different place right so that'll bring the ball back to the 20 yard line First and 24. Each one of these possessions, the uh, Pearl River has gotten penalties. Can't and it, keep hurting yourself. Oh, and Ooh. that one hit him in the hands, but fa uh, falls to the ground incomplete. Yeah, Sean Jenkins couldn't bring that one. He's a little behind it from Wadsworth. So, uh, going to bring up second and long. Yeah, those penalties have really been... Uh, 
a killer here early for Pearl River. And Coach Collins talked to me in pregame about they needed to clean it up. So, so far, it's still something that needs to be worked on. It's a little dirty. Still needs to be cleaned up. Absolutely. Wadsworth, give, goes, has room to run, jumps over a defender, and he'll get to about the 25-yard lines. Jenkins on the carry. Basically a draw play there, and he seems to be a little banged up. Stopped by uh, Caleb Rayford, who's number two, uh, playing Ironman football, wide receiver on the offensive side, and the safety on the defensive side. A minute 40 to go here in the first. Third and long. Wadsworth calls for it, looking to pass. Pressure coming. Steps up, looking for an option, slings it out. Complete, did they say he stayed in? Yes. And it's a first down, nice catch. Excellent grab there by Dalton Sabbath. Sabbath got right on this, came back, seeing the quarterback scrambling, Wadsworth scrambling, came back, found the spot, and kept those tippy toes in. It's been a tremendous night for Dalton Sabbath so far. And it's a, a minute 19 to go here in the first. So now you see here Coach talking to uh, Wadsworth and company as the play comes in from the sideline. Wadsworth will be under center. It'll be a toss to Jenkins bowling forward for a gain of two. Just a little toss play left that time, trying to get, trying to get uh, Jenkins on the perimeter. Uses speed, could really get it out there. Good defense by the Spartans. Couldn't turn that corner. So Wadsworth in the gun here on second and eight. Motion from Benson. Give goes to Jenkins, and he's immediately hit, but because Jenkins is such a hard runner, he'll gain about three. Nice run right there, Jenkins. Uh, getting through the middle, gonna bring up third and four, or is it five? Five, five. Yeah. Third and five. 18 seconds on the clock, though, so off of your screen, down toward the sideline, you see Wadsworth. Uh, pointing to the uh, scoreboard saying, hey, let's just let this run out and end the first quarter so we can talk over our next move here on third down. And as the clock ticks down, that's the end of the first quarter where Salmon leads 14 to seven. All right, top of the second quarter, third and five for Pearl River. And Tiger, what is your... Uh, thoughts on the first quarter. First quarter, ball control by Pearl River. They had the ball for 10 minutes. And Jenkins here on the run. My goodness, he's racing down that far sideline, and he'll be upended after a big game. That's a first down for the Rebels. Let's Ran continue. right off top. Right up. Okay. They, Pearl River, they wanted to, you know, coming in this game, maintain ball control, clock management, they, they had the ball 10 minutes and 11 seconds of a 12-minute quarter. Wow. But they trail 14-7. Yeah, because of a blocked punt and then Isaac, and then a penalty that got Isaac Kasnave closer to the end zone to where he could score. Right. So, so second quarter unwinds now. In the ball control category, they're, they're winning. Their handoff goes to Jenkins, and he'll be bottled up and dropped for no gain. Um, as I was saying, uh, with that goal of ball control, they're check. check. Check that box so yeah. far. Yeah. Time of possession, 10, 11. 10 minutes, 11 seconds out of 12 is pretty darn pretty good. Pretty good. You but just need to score, limit. Yeah. yeah the score is, is, is what matters. Limit the mistakes. Limit the penalties and limit the mistakes. So second and 10 here, Wadsworth puts Benson in motion and calls for it, fakes the give to Jenkins, rolling to his left and pressure is there, now rolling to his right, he'll launch it out to Jenkins, who will haul it in, racing down the sideline, and will he get that first down or did he step out? They're gonna say first down. 
Excellent wow. job there improvising by Wadsworth. Yeah. Instead of locking in and uh, then taking off, he instead looked back to his right and saw his star running back wide open. Great ad lib by Wadsworth. He, he was looking upfield. Must have been Sabath he was looking for, but has to, because of the rush, has to turn around and come back the other way. I think it was the rush and the fact that there was that roughing the passer penalty earlier that the the defensive guys were closing in but not going to really whack him. Right. Wadsworth calling for it. Give goes to Jenkins, and he'll be uh, brought down from behind by Richard Shepard, but that is a gain of three. So 9.48 to go here in the first half. Salmon's up 14 to seven here, second and seven. For the Rebels as they're driving toward the end zone. Under center now, Wadsworth calls for it. The give goes to Benson. Benson on the And he'll uh, gain about five. Yeah. They, they run Jenkins so much that that's a little bit of a counter that comes back. They look like they're going one way, and they counter back. And um, and Benson got some good yards, brings up third and five. Big down here. Big yeah, down. Yeah, we're at an, an kind of an odd angle here looking at the field because I, I thought he got more on that run than, uh, than he actually did. Makes it third and five. Oh, got him. Oh, the hard count worked. The old hard count. So that will get him very close to the first down, if not getting them a first down. Let's see where this is uh, marked, because it could be fourth and inches. It'll be about fourth and one. Excuse me, third and one. Ball at the four-yard line. Wadsworth will be under center. Full back in their eye formation. Give goes to Jenkins. Bulling forward. Look at the leg drive there. Oh, and is yeah. he in? Yeah. Touchdown for the Rebels. That's where that summer, summer training, when you're pushing that sled in, in your workouts, the squats, that's where all of that comes in. That was all leg drive from Jenkins. And, and – Defensively, Salmon, like like we said for Kazanay, you can't hit him high. You can't hit him high. You got to get low. You got to get low, stay down. His strength versus your strength, he's winning. For sure. Extra point attempt coming from Finn. Kick is up, and it is good. So it's tied up here at Rebel Stadium. 8.38 to go here in the second, 14-14. Finn to kick this one away following the Jenkins score. And it will be returned by Rayford. And Rayford bringing it up from the 10. Has room to run. It's still racing forward. Oh, and he will go coast to coast. Rayford wow. to the house. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So 90 yards on the return. Wow. Just good blocking right there, straight. Hey, you saw it where he found the opening, and as as he progressed up the field, turned on the Jets. Yeah, good and patient then, running from Ray. Yes, very good. So that doesn't really affect the uh, time of possession differential, but the score is still it's now Salmon leading. Right. Again. Again. So the extra point coming from Barricat. Oh, did they get him? So that'll move Salmon a little closer. And are they, looks like Salmon might be sending out a, yeah, a two point conversion team. Well, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, there's Casnave and uh, Dorsey. Look at this. Two guys down in the backfield. 
Dorsey calls for it. Give goes to Cast. Oh, nope. no, Dorsey kept it. it. And yeah. Dorsey's in for the two-point conversion. Wow. That faked me out. Yeah, I was uh, – I was wondering about that. I thought there was way too many guys. It's going to be a problem. And uh, nice little play call there. For sure, 8.25 to go here in the first half, and Salmon's up 22-14. Wow. Yeah. Kickoff from Barricat. Boots it deep, and Brown will once again return it for the Rebels, looking to bring it to the middle. Now he's racing forward. Oh, he trucks another guy, and he'll be brought down from behind after crossing the 45. A great return there from Brown. Brown took that one, found a little bit of an opening, and as he was as he was moving, uh, a couple of Spartans grabbed onto him but could not bring him down. Again, the old still applies. You can't bring some, somebody down if you're tackling them high. So, Zadarius Brown, he's listed at 5'8", 138. No way. No. He he. No, wait, no. First of all, he weighs more than that. But second of all, if that 138 is accurate, he's a 138-pound stick of dynamite. <laughs> yeah. He, no, he's not 138. No way. Wadsworth on the toss to Jenkins, and that will be about a four-yard gain for Jenkins. Just a little toss play. They've had some success with it. Try to get him outside. He had to cut up inside that block. By the, by the end, or the tackle on that side. And um, he, nice little pickup on first down. Can they avoid the penalty though? That's the question. Second and six for the Rebels. 7.39 to go here before half. Two to the top of your screen. Wadsworth calls for it and he'll keep it himself straight ahead and that will be a first down for Wadsworth on the keeper. Very uh, Lamar Jackson-ish right there. Almost almost to the tee. Yeah. Found the inside running. Good play call right there. Kind of mix it up. Keep it. You got to keep Salmon honest as far as Jenkins is concerned. You can't focus too much and they've done a good job of not of play action off of him and now running off of him. For sure. Wadsworth, yeah, that's going to be an illegal shift. We are getting pelted with footballs up here. Nobody, none made it through the window. <laughs> Good news. So that will move uh, the Rebels back. We right after I said it, <laughs> let's make no mistakes. Right. That mistake. So. That makes it a uh, first and 15. Wadsworth will be under center with the eye. Fakes the give to Jenkins. Lots that, of time, yeah, lots of time. The pressure bears right down, over. and he'll have to throw this one away. So it falls incomplete, makes it second and 15. You know, uh, you were talking about you playing off of Jenkins. Something that I've noticed when you look at stats of recruits in their senior year, the kind of really good recruits, you see their stats kind of go down as a senior. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they're essentially a decoy the whole year with the team having to play off of. Well, yeah, because the because everybody, oh, he's going to go. He's a possible to sign with Florida or Tulane or whatever, whoever. Key He's, him. Key him. Yeah. That's it. Meanwhile, you're going the other way with another player. Looking to pass as Wadsworth slings it out right side, and it's hauled in by Jenkins racing down the sideline, and Rayford will bring him down, but a big gain for Pearl River as they get down to the 15-yard line. He zigged and zagged that, that uh, Spartan player and left him. Uh, in the in the turf. Nice move, nice throw. So Sean Jenkins, a sophomore wide receiver for Pearl River, and Brian Jenkins, the senior running back. Oh, and another ball made it up here. So Tiger gets a ball. There you go. And we have a timeout on the field. 6.13 to go here in the second. Salmon up, 
Back from the timeout, Wadsworth hands off to Jenkins, looking to break it outside, has room to run, racing pass, 10, five, touchdown, Brian Jenkins. So now, do you think, does Pearl River go for two to try and tie it up, or do they just take the point? Um, uh, maybe they can get them to jump off sides and then go for two. Do they have do they have another one of those plays? Let me see. I think Pearl River called a timeout. Oh yeah, they're gonna talk it over. They're gonna they're gonna go. Yeah, six oh four to go here in the first half, and it's uh, Salmon leading twenty two to twenty. We'll see what happens on the point after after this. Coming out of the timeout, the point after they're gonna go for two. So Wadsworth. Calling for it, rolling to his right. It's a throw, throw back, back, and he's open, and Wide it's hauled open. in. Why does Sabath? Sab yep, he's had a big oh, night, yeah. and it's tied up. 22, 22, 6.04 to go here before half. All right, kicking this one away, following. Oh, it's an ambush on, uh, kind of a squib. It, I guess it was an attempted onside, maybe, but it went long. Um, Smith falls on it. Wow. Uh, yeah. Certainly wasn't expecting that. Who knows at this point? It did. If it was onside, it went a little too far. But maybe that was a plan. Kick it at somebody so it bounces okay. off of them, and then you could fall on top of it. Yep. Or sometimes those guys on the front line get kind of flustered when they see a ball coming their way because they're not used to it. Right. But uh, Smith didn't. Smith. Got right on it. First and 10 for Salmon, a, uh, a rare offensive possession. Fakes to give to Casnave. It'll be Dorsey on the keeper left side, looking to turn it up. And well, yeah, that's a flag. because He held on and brought him down out of bounds over there. So just to, to emphasize your words, rare offensive possession, second offensive possession of the game. With 5.53 to go, go here before half. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Major ball control by Pearl River. It's somehow it's 22-22. But this will If you had those Salmon numbers at home, two and two, you were going to go, oh, no, I, I'm not winning anything. Two and two on your, on your blocks. On your squares. On your squares. Yeah. 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 No, no, there's no chance. No, you're doing good. Yeah. There's the penalty. Yeah, so that gets them to the 38-yard line. Wow. And it looks uh, Salmon's going to be in an empty set. Four receivers to the right, one to the left. Dorsey calling for it. Slinging Launches this one, has a man, but it's well overthrown. overthrown. So it falls incomplete. That'll be second and ten. He, Rayford was there. Oh yeah, Rayford he was, was open. open. He was open. It's uh, Coach Shooter rolling the dice right there. Hey, we got, we we got a nice little pickup and we got the penalty. So let's let's try to strike for sure. And if if it had just gotten there, Rayford's taking that yeah. to the house. Yes, if he put a little more air under it. So on second down, Dorsey calls for it. Gabe goes straight ahead, and he's fired out of a cannon, rushing forward, dancing around defenders, makes another miss. Ten, five, stays in bounds. Cut into back, the touchdown. End zone. My goodness, that's Jacoby Jefferson. What a score, and a flag comes out late. That there, we'll see what the flag is, but that was a play of the week contender. Oh, yeah. And an unsportsmanlike uh, uh, call him Salmon. Yeah, that was that was like, like you said, he was shot out of a cannon, then he takes it out to the outside, and then down the sideline, and great cut back and into the end zone. Now the extra point coming. 
This time it's Barricat out there to attempt the point after. It looks like Salmon might be missing somebody. Snap is back, place, kick is up, and it is good. So, 5.36 to go here before half, and Salmon leads 29-22. Barrick had to kick this one away, and this will be returned by Brown. Running forward, patient running, and he'll be bottled up and stopped at the 45-yard line where uh, Pearl River will start this drive. So Salmon leads 29 to 22, but we have quite a discrepancy in time of possession. What is it? It's um, So Salmon has had the ball for two minutes and 17 <laughs> seconds, and there's 527 to go in the first, first half. half. So two minutes, they they pretty efficient offensively. Absolutely. As has been Pearl River as time of possession, ball control, everything they want, mistakes, mistakes. Special teams. Special teams. Wadsworth here on the screen. It falls incomplete, intended for Moody. They actually, now they've thrown, that's the third time they've thrown that pass. The other two times, Salmon was all over it. This guy was wide open this time. But I think he took his eyes and said, oh, there's a lot of green. A lot of green up here. Let me go. And boop. Nope. Got to wrap it up. Got to put it away. Second and 10. <clears throat> Calling forward is Wadsworth looking to pass. Launches this one, and it is overthrown. And a flag comes out late. Uh, Salmon guy was over here on the Pearl River bench area. I'm wondering if this is going to be an unsportsmanlike uh, situation. We'll have to see what's, what it is. No, no telling. The officials talking to Personal foul. Personal foul on Salmon. Right. So that'll be a first down. It was third down. Right. And now it extends the drive for Pearl River. Correct. Now the Spartans made a mistake. Which has been pretty rare for them tonight. Yeah, unchar uncharacteristic. And that young man's going off, and someone is going to take his place while the coaches visit with him about what were you doing? And you didn't need to. Coach Shooter is not happy. Got a pretty good raffle going for you, ladies and gentlemen, out there. He's looking for a whole cord of firewood. Maybe a fire so he's first and 10 the from the 40 yard line for the Rebels. And it'll be uh, Wadsworth in the empty set. Calls for it. Wadsworth looking to pass his pressure. Bears down from behind. And he takes off running. And he'll go out of bounds. And that's a first down for Pearl River. Nice piece of running there by Wadsworth. Got, uh, you know, under pressure, decides to take it left. They had a guy bearing down when he didn't see him. Bearing down on him from behind, just couldn't get to him. Tried to make the shoestring tackle, and Wadsworth kicked out of it. He did. So first and 10. And this <laughs> extends that time of possession for Pearl River. 5.07 to go, first half, 29-22. Wadsworth looking to pass, slings it out. It's complete to Sabath, and he'll go down at the 15-yard line, and that'll make it. Uh, he didn't go down easily. Yeah, he had to be forced down by Salomon, but a big uh, gain there, and that'll make it what, second, second and, and eight. Second and, and two, two. an eight-yard eight. gain. Pick up, yeah, pick up. Picked up about eight yards on 
Jenkins. Second down, I formation now. Give goes to Jenkins, busting through the line, and that should be enough. No, oh, wait. Let's see. Yeah. No? No, third down. Third down. Wow, only short. a gain of one. Kind of got stood up. A rare feat got stood up there right when he crossed the line of scrimmage. So third and one. Four minutes to go here in the first half. And Wadsworth will lunge forward, and that will be a first down for the Rebels. And it looks like Nope, Wadsworth good to go. They, uh... oh, that wasn't Wadsworth. There was another player who was uh, down for an extended period, but I think he was down just because there was a pile on him. So first and 10. Everybody has to get off of here before you can get up. That's, <laughs> right. That's how that works. <laughs> yeah. 3.30 to go. Clock ticking here. No rush. So yeah, the clock. Oh, well, the 13. 12 in the play clock. Motion across from Benson. Wadsworth give goes to Jenkins. Busting through the line. Hard running. Still on his feet. And is he in? Touchdown. Brian yeah. Jenkins. My goodness, how hard of a runner is he? Yeah, again. Tried to hit him high. You can't do it. No. What are you doing? You can't tackle up in the shoulders. No. Boom. He's going to run right over you if you try and hit him high. He will. Now the extra point unit is on. Snap is high, but it's placed, and the kick is up. I don't think that's good. No. It oh, it is good. Okay. 3.13 to go here in the first half, and it's tied up at 29. This one booted short. And uh-oh, Rayford loses it, picks it up, and he's going to be dropped back and gang tackled. Right. Excellent special teams play by Pearl River, and that will back Salmon up to start the drive at the 15-yard line. Way better than the last time, that's for sure. Of course, uh, not kicking as, as deep, letting it hit the ground, and um, uh, Rayford had a little bit of a problem with that. So Salmon, just their third drive of the night from the 15-yard line. This is their worst field position that they've had to start a drive. Dorsey calls for it, and the give will go to Casnave. Casnave breaks away from one, looking to bring it left side. A big stiff arm. Oh, my goodness. goodness. Wow. And that will be a first down for the Spartans. Wow. He just kind of trucked him with his arm. But a fresh set of downs for the Spartans. 2.48 to go here before the half. How big would a score be to take the lead before half? Ooh, so you can go huge. into the locker room up. Yeah, huge. This thing has been like a seesaw. Every, each team able to answer the other. Snap is back. And here goes Casnave straight ahead once again. Gets away from the first, second, and third guy. And it's the fourth guy who brings him down. And that will be another fresh set of downs for the Spartans. And Blake Palmer was the linebacker that brought him down on that play. That hard running Kasney. And we're gonna step away for an injury timeout. First and 10 now coming out of the injury timeout. Motion across, Dorsey gives. It gets away from one. Oh my goodness, another run here. Racing down the sideline, cuts it back inside. Is he going to do it again? Takes it to the house. Jacoby, Jacoby Jefferson. Jefferson. Oh my, oh my. What a run. 
A 63 yards to the house. Barricat on to attempt the point after. Snap is back, kick is up, and it's good. So 1.45 to go here before the half. Salmon's up 36-29. So kick it deep. So Bearcat to kick this one away. Boots it and it will be Jenkins to return this one from the five. Rushing forward, and he'll be brought down from behind after crossing the 30. I think they want, it. oh, and here come some more flags. A lot of flags come out. I think will one be a horse collar? Hold it. Oh, face mask. Personal foul. The penalty's offset. Yeah, so it must have been. Or horse collar. And a horse. Okay, so they offset. Right. So. No harm, no foul. 137 to go here before the half. Honestly, I, I would ask you your keys to, to the second half here, but the way this game is going, Pearl River might score here before we get to the half and it tie would, it back up. It's, uh, well. Whatever team can find a defense through the half, or if they can find something here, wait a minute, they got to re -kick oh, are we going to have a re-kick situation? Yeah, I think so. Let's, uh, everybody loves a redo, so. So Pearl River is getting set to return. Salmon still over there on that far sideline, talking over the kickoff. And here they come. Is this game going to end up 70 to 70 or something? I mean, it's looking like it, mathematically we could get there with the way this is going. 70, Two. 72 to 70. 72 to 58. Yeah. I don't, I don't foresee that staying there. <laughs> Bearcat to kick this one away once again. This one squib. And it'll be returned from the 25 yard line, racing forward. Splits defenders and he'll be slung down at about the 40 yard line by number 49, Jaquel Hogan. All right, so the ball being spotted at the 40. Pearl River will have 91 ticks to play with. They've been pretty, I bet they have a lot of yardage. They've got to have a lot of yardage. Two to the top, two to the bottom. Wadsworth calls for it, looking to pass it to screen, and it's complete. And he'll gain about four. It's a wide, wide receiver screen. Meanwhile, I think uh, it'd be interested if we can get stats. I don't know if we can, but Jacoby Jefferson has a bunch of yards in this game. Second down, Wadsworth looking to pass, slings it out right side, and nobody home. So that'll make it third and seven. Did he run the kickoff back? Jefferson, do you remember? Rayford. Rayford, that's right. But Jefferson has two long runs, if, right? Yes, Scrimmage. Jefferson has the two. Uh, 63, I know, was one. Yeah. yeah. Another long run. So timeout called. 106 to go here in the first half. Pearl, uh, excuse me, Salmon up 36-29. So picking up on that conversation about uh, Jefferson from Salmon, 
two carries, 101 yards, two touchdowns as Wadsworth is sacked. Wow, defense. Some defense came along there. They're going to take a timeout. Pearl River. Yeah, they take a timeout. One minute to go. Can't take them with you. One minute to go. Salmon up, 36-29. Punt coming out of the timeout. Rayford back to return. And oh, it's a fake. fake. They throw it. And oh, it's complete. Good. So that's a first down. Oh, oh but he was carrying it like it was a bread basket. Good, yeah, he fumbled. Good play right there. Hall scoops wow. it back in, and that's a first wow. down for Pearl River. I was, I was I was just thinking it. I was just thinking it. I was saying, like, well, right now might not be a bad time to, to uh oh, uh oh. Oh, is there a flag? Uh -oh. There is a flag. Uh oh, uh oh. An Ill the ineligible man receiver down the field. Ineligible down the field. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, man. So this place was electric for about a minute. Yeah, yeah. But that's going to back it up. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Under. Ooh, someone. It was still a pretty play, yeah. Coach. I'll give you that, sir. <laughs> Some uh, sporting news from the press box here. Do they, I mean. Obviously, no, they, they, they punted away here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Snap is back. Very little rush, and it's punted away. Fair catch. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Right. Dove to bring that one in. So Salmon's going to have 45 seconds. Do you think they hand it off to Jefferson? Uh, probably. If you need a quick strike, you only have 45 seconds to play with. Right. As, as we said before, Jefferson, two carries, 101 yards, and two touchdowns. Talk about efficiency. Yeah. So I'm thinking if you have two, they still have two timeouts, give it to Kazanave the first time and then Jefferson the next time. Or throw the ball or something. Who knows? <laughs> At this point, they're going to throw it. Motion across. Dorsey calls for it, looking to pass, slings it out. It's complete. Racing up the sideline, and he'll be forced out of bounds. Calling that in was uh, Damon Narcisse. So they're at midfield now. Actually, yeah, they're at midfield. Yeah, right at the 50. 38 seconds to go. They didn't uh, didn't have to use a timeout. That's a good thing. Yeah, excellent job by Narcisse getting out of bounds there. Makes it second and one. It looks like uh, two to the right, two to the left, but in closer. Motion across from Narcisse. Dorsey calls for it, looking to pass. The flag comes out, and Dorsey will throw it away. Let's see what this flag is in the area of holding. Yeah, it holding is. on Salmon. Yeah. Yep. Decline. Oh, that was pass interference. They declined the holding and took the pass interference, apparently. So that'll drop them back to the 35 yard line. Uh, they're going to run a draw play here. Run, I'd run Jefferson. Hey, look who's in. Jefferson. Jefferson. So you actually have Jefferson and Casnave in. Right. Check it down.
Dorsey calls for it. The give will go to Casanave, and he's hit. Stiff arms two away, and the third guy will bring him down after about a five-yard gain, and, and a flag, flag comes no out problem. late. It's becoming a flag party down there. It is. Um, I'm, I'm having a I'm, – I'm afraid people are beginning to talk now. Ball. On Sportsmanlike on Pearl River. River. Right. And that's a first down. Yeah. Man, just silly mistakes. At this point, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? Look at this. Yeah. Now. And now you give it to Jefferson and let him go score. Yeah. 19 seconds to go. But he's not in there, is he? No. 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 Nope, nope, nope. Rayford's in. He's playing Iron Man football. Where's Rashid Shaheed? Right? The Saints guy touched it twice. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Motion across from Rayford. Here's Dorsey looking to pass. He was looking for Rayford from jump, but he was covered. Dorsey slings it, and it falls Almost incomplete, complete. nearly picked off. Kazane was wide open. He didn't find him. Here we go. Here comes Jefferson. So, ladies and gentlemen, that worked. Y'all did good. Second down. So, ball is at the 46 yard line. 12 seconds to go in the half. Empty set, calls for it, looking to pass, slings it. It's complete to Rayford and he's inbounds, tackled inbounds and immediately Salmon takes a timeout. So six seconds to go here before the half and Salmon leads 36-29. Third and five. Six seconds on the clock. Salmon calls for it, looking to pass here. Just launches it, incomplete. And so it's fourth down now with two seconds on the clock for the Spartans. Take the shot. Looks like that 12th man in the fans is walking. Play coming in from the sideline. This will be the final play of the half. Calling for it. Oh, it, it's lateraled back and he's brought down and that will do it for the first half. He might have had a better chance if he turned and ran, but that's not the case. And that'll end the first half. Salmon up, 36-29. And, and second half gets underway as this one is kicked up. And it's still on the ground and finally scooped in by Michael Welsh for the Spartans. A little pooch kick right there to start it off. You know why? They're not kicking it deep. Oh, absolutely not. You don't want Rayford to get a hold of it. 90 yards in the first half. So Salmon getting the ball to start the second half. Uh, they already lead 36-29, looking to extend that lead here on this drive. 36 points and their time of possession in the first half, four minutes, 34 seconds. Efficient use of time. 14 of those points came off of, uh, or 12, excuse me, of those points came off of uh, special teams as a big hit in the backfield on Casnave by uh, number 44, Noah Hunt. I was going to say, if you asked me, and I'm pretty sure you were going to ask me, keys to the second half, yeah. and it would be something starting with the letter D. Somebody have come up with some defensive stops. Definitely. Either side. Either side. And there, great job by Hunt. Uh, something we've seen is trying to, the defense trying to tackle Casanave high. That's just not going to work. So there, that was a good form tackle. Now the handoff going to Jefferson. And 
That's his first carry of the night that didn't go for a touchdown. And it, it was less than 50 yards. Right. Because he was averaging 50. He, he was averaging 50. Yeah. Prior to that carry, he had two carries for 101 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah. So third down for the Spartans, third and two. Very passionate crowd here tonight. Very tight right now. High snap, Dorsey fakes the give. Oh, what a block by Casnave. Dorsey will hit the edge, and Dorsey will get the first down before going out of bounds. And there's a late flag that comes out. Right out on the out on the sideline there. Wondering what that is. It's against Salmon. Is it going to be holding? I didn't see anybody. I didn't out see there. a hold. Nobody was there. But Salmon gets called with the hold. I I don't know where it was. Uh, yeah, because it it certainly wasn't in the spot where the flag was thrown. No. Because there was almost no one there. So third and four now. As this passionate Pearl River crowd gets fired up once again. Dorsey and Casnave in the backfield. Calling for it. Give. And that will be short of the first down. That'll be about a yard shy of the first down. Bring up fourth and one. Fourth down. Uh, fourth and two, excuse me. Lane Bart Kiffin would go for it. Well, he'd break out the analytic book. This Coach, I asked Coach Shooter before the game about his analytic book, and he, said, he pointed to his heart and said, it's right here. I got it here, and, and he pointed to his head. So. And his heart and his head are telling him to send the punting unit out on the field. So Damon Narcisse will punt this one away. Pearl River is, I think, well, here comes a flag. Is that going to? Is it going to be a delay? A delay. Oh, wow. All right, so that'll back him up even more. What was interesting was right before that uh, whistle blew, the returner ran up. Darren Sims ran up. Right. Now, I, I'm wondering what the uh, – what, well, what and now he's up. There is no returner back. So I'm wondering if they're anticipating a fake. Snap is back. Narcisse punts this one away. Ooh, it took a Pearl River bounce and back, went backwards. Desmond Beasley downing it. Not even about a 14-yard punt, I think, on that one. So, so we'll get a look now here in the second half at the Pearl River offense, and efficient would be an understatement. Yes. Efficient ball, ball control. Ball control. Can they continue that in the second half? Or has Salmon made some defensive adjustments? As it was, Pearl River made a defensive adjustment and shut him down there. Wadsworth and company back out on the field, breaking the huddle. First and ten. Wadsworth calls for it. Give goes to Jenkins, and he will be dropped back by Casnave. Just pulled right back. Casnave doing the uh, uh, two-way job tonight. Yeah, Iron Man football, a lot of Iron Men for uh, the Spartans. Not uncommon by both teams. Second and 11. Motion from Benson. Wadsworth calls for it, and no uh, flags immediately fly. Looks to be a false start. So second and 16 for the Rebels. Down, 
Snap is back. Wadsworth looking to throw. It's a screen, and it falls incomplete intended for Jenkins. That's that middle screen they ran in the first half with much success. I think Kazanave got a hand on it, or someone did. So incomplete. And I've always said when you come that free as a defensive lineman, it might be time to turn around and look for where that ball is going. Absolutely. Third down and 16 for the Rebels. But that realization between he didn't really touch me to, uh-oh. The ball's going. Yeah. Wadsworth looking to throw as pressure bears down, and he's sacked. Wadsworth. I noticed a blitz that time um, by Salmon and uh, pressure by Dwayne Hartley for the sack. So fourth and very long, and Rayford is back to return as the punting unit comes on for Pearl River. Clock down to 8.37 here in the third quarter. Snap is back, rolling to his right, and it's going to be punted away. It's a very short punt. Oh, but it'll take a good roll. Oh, nice. Excellent nice, roll. Nice, nice. Still going. Down to the 24-yard line. That's tremendous. Salmon with the ball at the 24-yard line on first down. Binder one, please use those garbage receptacles located throughout the facility. If you happen to be going downstairs, use those garbage cans. So Tiger, we said we needed to see some defense in the second half. So far, we have. We did. Shut down both times. Adjustments made. Will it continue? Stadium playing right now. Back to live action. Motion across from Rayford. And Coach Shooter doesn't like what he sees. So 8.14 to go here in the third. Salmon takes a timeout up 36-29. First and 10. Motion across. Dorsey will call for it. Give will go to Casnave, and he is met in the backfield. A drop for a loss of one. Trey Turnage got a hold of his ankle and pulled him down. Great play by Turnage. So that'll make it second and ten for the Spartans. Calls for it. Give goes to Jefferson. And Jefferson is stopped after about a three yard gain. Good defense. Third down now. Third and five now. 7.04 on the clock here in the third. Home crowd getting into the defense here. Trying to cheer them on. Can they have two stops in a row? We'll Dorsey see. looking to pass, slings it out to Jefferson. He's hit immediately as he hauls it in, and that's short of the first down by about a, let's see, about two yards. So it looks like the punting unit's coming out for the Spartans, and it's a completely different feel to the game here in the second all half. All of a sudden, it was all, all offense scoring, in the first. Yeah. All that scoring has gone by the wayside. And the punter is back on. We didn't see Narcisse too much in the punting role in the first half. I don't think we did at all. No, not at all. Yeah. Snap is back, and Narcisse punts this one away. It's an end-over-end -end punt, and it will be muffed and recovered by the Spartans. Wow. Another special team mistake. The third special the team's team miscue of the night. Right. For the Rebels. 
And I think Coach Collins wants uh, catch interference, saying that Salmon was too close. Oh, and he's had enough of Coach. Oh, we're going to give him 15 yards closer. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so that will then give Salmon the ball at the 25-yard line. I don't think Coach wants to. Uh, I don't think Coach wants to uh, continue the discussion too much. So we have a timeout on the field. 6.03 to go here in the third. Salmon up, 36-29. After the uh, recovery of the muffed punt and a 15-yard unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, it's Salmon ball at the 25-yard line as they're looking to drive and extend their lead. Dorsey calls for it, looking to pass, slings it out to Rayford, racing up the sideline. He'll be pushed out of bounds. Oh, is that going to be a flag for hitting him out of bounds? I don't know what it's going to be. Flag on the boy. Maybe he said something. I don't know. Personal foul. Uh, That's a silly one. I'm not sure about <laughs> that. Good ball. So now, I think we're looking at first and goal for the Spartans. Yeah, first and goal. Isaac's getting it. I would think, right here. Motion across, Dorsey calling for it, looking to pass. Launches it right side, and it's hauled in! What did I For know? the score, Jamie King! Nice throw right there by Dorsey. Wow. And that was a rope. I'm pretty sure I thought I said it. Kazanade's going to get the football right here, and they're going to run it in the end zone, or try to. Let's put it that way. Instead, they sling it out to Jamie King for the score. And now Barakat is on for the point after. Looking to extend the Salmon lead. Snap is back, kick is up, and it's good. 5.51 to go here in the third. Salmon leads 43 to 29. Barricat to kick this one away following the Salmon score. And this one's kept short. It bounces and this will be returned. A modest. Oh, wait, Salmon's saying it ball came loose. Oh, this would be incredible. Oh, my goodness. It. Wow. So is it. Did we get the signal? It is, oh, yeah. That is four special teams miscues. Wow, wow. Wow. So Salmon has the ball at the 40 yard line. And a flag comes out. And I think they're going to say before the flag was thrown, it was a timeout called by Pearl River. 5.46 to go here in the third. Salmon up, 43-29. So Salmon starting this drive from the 40-yard line following the fumble on the kick return. Snap is back, and Dorsey's looking to pass as pressure bears down. Dorsey is going to be sacked, and that will drop Salmon back past the 50. Wow, big loss. 
good play by the defense there. And, and, and we're going to step away for an injury timeout. Coming out of the timeout, Salmon is second and 20. Keys is the quarterback. And a flag. Oh, that's going to be a delay of game. Called on the Spartans. I think Coach Shooter is trying to ask, was the clock reset following the uh, right. timeout? So now second and 25 for the Spartans. Keys calls for it, fakes to give to Kaznave, looking to throw. He launches this one, looking for Rayford, and Rayford hauls it in. And Great a flag catch. comes down. It's it. I wonder who it's on though I here. I don't know. Because there was a lot of hand up, oh, and a, I think that's a taunting flag. Oh man, he. W I, mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't think he was taunting. He was. Happy he made the catch or whatever, but I don't know. Nowadays you can't do anything, basically. So the pass interference was on the deep. Okay. No unsportsmanlike conduct on Salmon. So if those. It's a complete pass, but then right. they're going to bring it back. Okay. So for the down box hasn't moved, but now a first down for the Spartans. Yes. Markel Keys. I don't. Oh, wow. Man, so they, I wonder what he did because it did not. No, he just. It looked like he was excited, but I'm right. wondering if he said something. Right. Because Rayford's ejected now, which is a big loss for the Spartans. Right. I just don't know if it's warranted. Right. And Coach is going to have a little, Coach Shooter's going to have a little chat right here. Interesting. I, I'd be curious to know. I'm going to follow up with Coach Shooter on after the game on that because he was celebrating. Right. And there's not much happiness in this discussion. All discussion has up to go back to 442 in the third quarter. So White Hat hears him out and we're going back to action. Right, Keys go oh, a high snap, but he's able to handle it. He pulls it and he'll take it himself around the left side. Racing got the sideline. And he's down In after he crosses the 10. Yeah. Wow. And it was a high snap. I think it was designed to go to Kasnave. Uh, yeah, but, but it had, all got blown up. Right. Wow. Great presence of mind 
by Markel Keys to pull that down and run it. So first and goal for the Spartans. They're going with that heavy package. Keys calls for it. Give goes straight ahead to Kasne, breaking through right and there. into the end zone. And that is what you thought was going to happen the last time Correct. they were in this position Correct. when they threw the pass. Yes. I was going, are they going to really run? And I didn't think there would be anything there, but obviously there was a huge hole. Yeah, excellent push by the offensive line. Yes. And the uh, extra point unit is on. McDonald, Carpio, and Hartley doing the yeoman's work up in that front offensive line there on the right side for Salman. Snap is back, place kick is up, and it is good. So 4.03 to go here in the third quarter, and Salman leads 50 to 29. And Barricat kicks this one away. And Pearl River falls on it. So Pearl River will take over at the 34-yard line. 4.03 to go here in the third. It's a marathon third quarter. But uh, Salmon leading 50 to 29. And it always the way. Things are going good. <laughs> good. Well, come to the line. Wadsworth calls for it, fakes to give to Jenkins. He'll take it himself, and he'll run into a wall. Uh, it's Kaznave, Kaznave and Shepard. Iron Man football, Mr. Isaac Kaznave. And that'll make it second and nine. Wadsworth will be under center. And I think they're going to say uh, Salmon jump. So now second and four. Motion from Benson, Wadsworth with the toss to, oh my goodness, another flag. Motion. So now that will Back up, Pearl River. Motion, Wadsworth fakes the toss, looking to pass, launches it, it's hauled in. Sabath. And he splits defenders and he'll get down to the 40-yard line. One of their favorite plays tonight and has been successful every time. Salmon hasn't figured out a way to defense the, the drag by the tight end across the field off of play action. Uh, fake to down. Jenkins and Wadsworth have, and Sabath have made a living off of that. We're gonna step away for the injury timeout. Coming out of the injury timeout, it's first down for Pearl River from the 40. Handoff goes to Jenkins, looking to bounce it outside. And he will be brought down in bounds by uh, Kusizen. He gets uh, he gets about seven. So that'll make it second and three. 221 to go here in the third.
calls for it. Give goes to Jenkins again. Hard running from Jenkins. And he will have the first down and some for the Rebels as they continue this drive. Wadsworth bringing the play in. Once again, you just can't commend enough the leg drive and strength of Brian Jenkins. Oh, man. Player. So he's right out of the Pearl River running back. Uh-oh. Loose ball on the ground, and Salmon is on top of it. That's their third. Is that their third fumble recovery in this half? Yes. That one recovered by Dwayne Hartley. Opportunistic Spartans getting on the football. It was one on a. It was one on a punt. One on a kickoff. A kickoff return, and now one on a scrimmage yeah. play. So Spartans take over first and ten. So first and ten from the thirty-one yard line. Minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. High snap, it's mishandled, and he has to fall on top of it. That was way up there. Wow, I was just thinking maybe they want to give it back to him. So that's going to make it. Second and 17. Snap is back. That one's on target. Give going to Jefferson straight ahead. Jefferson straight ahead. Stop by Brown, number seven. Nothing fancy there. Just straight ahead. Hard nosed football. They're going to need to run one, one more in this quarter. But for Salmon, you're up 50 to 29, so the clock is your friend. Yeah, so snap it right before when it gets down to two. Motion across. Keys calls for it. Give goes to Jefferson, and he is bottled up. And that'll bring a fourth down for the Spartans. We're going to end the third quarter. And at the end of the third, Salmon leads 50 to 29. Everywhere, I'm pretty sure, Coach. That's what, they, that's what the people putting it down. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. No, no. Around the nation. Top of the fourth. Punt unit out for Salmon. High snap. Uh-oh, it's a fake. Oh, he's rushing forward, and he'll be tripped up, so he won't get there. Turnover on downs. It wasn't a called fake. It was a, a fake out of necessity. Right, right. But uh, he nearly got there. He was off to the races, and a shoestring tackle prevented that from being a first down for the Spartans. Coach Shooter is not happy with his punter. Looks like it was uh, John McQueen who saved I guess one. he, oh, I, I'm going to say the, the punter was Narcisse. Narcisse. I think uh, he thought he saw green grass in front of him, and that quickly ended. So short of short, the first down in a short field for Pearl River to start this drive, looking to pass his Wadsworth. And we have another flag. Uh, illegal procedure, is my guess. Oh, it was offside. So that'll move Pearl River up five yards. Both teams have, uh, uh, specifically when um, Pearl River is on offense and Salmon is on defense. They take turns either being offsides or in motion. Trading uh, trading penalties, but it's a flag party down there. It is a flag party. It, well, you largely remember, negating each other. You know what's coming other. up, Halloween. You know, break out the yellow flags back at the house. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a flag party. Uh, 
and we're going to have a timeout called by Pearl River. 11.32 to go here in the fourth. Salmon up 50 to 29. First and five now for Pearl River coming out of the timeout. Benson in motion. Wadsworth will give the Jenkins coming near side. Looking to get to the edge. He's off to the races. Jenkins 10, 5. Brian Jenkins is in for the score. And just what the Rebels needed coming into the fourth quarter, trailing by 21, was to run it with Jenkins and get it in the end zone. So the extra point unit is on Keaton Finn. We'll attempt the point after. Kick is up. And it's good. 11.21 to go here in the game. Salmon's up 50 to 36. So the hands unit is on for uh, Salmon. As Finn looks to kick this one away for Pearl River. And it's an onside. And Casnave hauls it in. And Casnave is racing forward. And he'll be pushed out of bounds at about the 35 yard line. Oh. And a flag comes out. So some chippiness. So I think the extracurricular activity is going to be called on Pearl River. So Salmon was already at the 35. That'll move him up even more. So he's ejected. And then Salmon will move inside the 20. And the ball will be spotted at the 18 yard line. Eleven fourteen to go, still in this one. Spartans benefiting from a uh, a little bit of a return and then a penalty to get the ball deep in. Pearl River territory. Keys handles the snap, gives it to Jefferson. Jefferson looking to get to the edge, and a flag will come out for a block in the back. So, you know, for the moment, Jefferson's there in the end zone, but this is going to come back. A oh, hold. That one was that was pretty clear. I think it was one of those things he didn't even need to do, you know? Yeah, Jefferson was getting out there. So now and this game has ground to a halt here with these penalties and penalties and penalties, penalties. and miscues. And miscues. Yeah. Clock is running. Thank you. Keys calling for it on first and long. And he'll launch this one. He has a man open. Will he catch it? No. It falls incomplete. And I think 
Salmon wants a flag, but no flag. That'll make it second and long. Also what that does is it stops the clock. As we're recording this, we are two hours and 42 minutes into this game. I think I said ground to a halt. Yes, I? you did. Unfortunately. Definitely uh, by far the longest game we've done this season that did not have lightning delays. Just keeping us on our toes. Snap is back. Give goes to Jefferson, and he's met at the line and dropped maybe a gain of one. So that'll be third down. Keys calls for it. Pressure coming immediately through. He slings it out and it is incomplete. At this point, I don't think there's no punt coming. And the kicker, not real sure that he's good from there. We're down to 15 seconds to go. So if they're going to run a play, they better be running now because yeah, they're nine. They're going to need to talk call, talk call timeout. Five seconds on the play clock. Casnave, or excuse me, Keys calls for it, and he launches this one up, and that's going to fall. In. Oh, but a flag comes out for uh, interference. So this will move the Spartans closer. And it's a fourth and five. Still fourth down. But uh, what do the Spartans and what do the defense have as this. And a flag comes out. Did Salmon jump? Uh, Pearl River wow, pulled some boy. kind of defensive move and I think drew him offside. They did a move up front, slide the, uh, slide the front and bring the linebackers up and the offensive line jumped. Good play there by the uh, Rebels. Fourth and ten Four for the Spartans. The, 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 the bad thing about all this is time's not, the clock's not running. Right. Keys calling for it on fourth down. And he launches this one. And it's dropped. So a turnover on downs as the Pearl River defense holds. So It'll be 9.41 on the clock here in the game. Still plenty of time for the, the Rebels. Down they haven't given scores. up. They haven't yeah. given up. 50 to 36. Salmon leading and Pearl River is amped to get back on offense out on the field. Right now, they better hustle out there because they've got, they're down to 19 seconds to run a Run the clock. Five wide. Uh-oh. It's going to be too much time. He got it off just. Barely. Oh, and that one is. Oh, it's complete. Wow. That one threaded the needle to get it out there to Jenkins. Good, good throw right there. 
And they, yeah, they got that ball off with one second, probably Barely. half yeah, of a second half a on second the clock. Away. Yeah, yeah, a little too nonchalant. Second and one now. Look for the. Uh oh, he lost Fumble. it. He lost it. And the Salmon is signaling that they have it. And that and is do. another They're turnover. Wow. Salmon recovers. Wow. Yeah, good show of sportsmanship there. That's yeah. good to see. I like that. Yes. So my goodness. Stop and then turn it over. Wow. In the last probably eight minutes of air time, we've got, gotten less than two. Yeah. Yeah, only a, less than three minutes is run off the clock here in the fourth quarter. Snap is high, but uh, fielded cleanly by Keys, and he'll take off himself, and he'll gain about uh, eight on the carry. Now this is much more like it. You got the lead, milk the milk clock. Milk the clock, keep it on the ground, right. and wait for that play clock to get down to about two before you snap it. I think they've done that a couple of times. Not planned, though. <laughs> Yeah, they're rushed up now. See? Keys calls for it, and I think it was a busted play. Again. But I think Keys has the first down. Mm -hmm. nope. Or maybe inches. Short, yeah. short. Yeah. But again, like you said, he snapped the ball with 20 seconds left. Yeah, of we, of, let yeah. it run down to two. So third and one coming out of the injury timeout. Keys. High snap, but he gets it to Casnave. And Casnave rushing straight ahead. Stiff arms galore, still on his feet. And oh my goodness, still going forward. A flag comes out now. And Casnave is down at the one yard line. Let's see what this flag is. Face, face mask against who? Against the offense. What? Wait. So half the distance, the half or nothing. Half. The, okay. So he signaled. did he? He pointed the wrong way. Yeah. He okay. <laughs> Wouldn't half the distance? Is it coming back out? I don't know. I'm confused. Easily, of course. Keys calling for it. Give goes to Casnave. And a very rare occurrence, the first man brought Casnave down. Yeah. Logan. Tackle by Logan Waller. Senior defensive lineman, 6'2", 220. Nice tackle by him. Now Jefferson in it running back. Snap is back and it's mishandled. It's picked up. Keys on the run. And he's going to have to go down at the 20 yard line. So a big loss for the Spartans. Seven minutes still on the clock. All of a sudden, the Salmon can't get the snap back. Like a. Keys with the five wide, calling for it, looking to pass, pressure bearing down. He slings it to the end zone, and it is incomplete, way overthrown. So the field goal unit is out for the Spartans. You know, the ball is right in the middle of the field. So this will be a 36 yard attempt for Barakat. 
snap is back, kick is up, and it is no good, just under the crossbar. 6.16 to go here in the game, and uh, the Pearl River defense holds there. <laughs> well, 6.16, still plenty of time. And uh, Pearl River trailing by 14. I mean, both teams have given each other chances. And yet, Pearl River is still in it. it. Looks like some confusion on the Salmon side. Snap is away and straight ahead goes Jenkins off to the races. And there he 50, goes. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, and Brian Jenkins takes it to the house. I don't think, I, I, mean, I don't know. Well, it, trying to count, I don't think there Salmon was, had enough men. There was definitely some confusion on the front right. uh, with Salmon. It looked like they were there was arguing going on over maybe somebody out of position, maybe somebody not there who was supposed to be there. Yeah. Um, and what did I just say? Pearl River was not out of it. No. And now, with, if, if this extra point is good, it's a one-score game. Late oncomer here. I mean, technically, it's a one-score game regardless. Snap is back, kick is up, and it is good. So a seven-point game, 6.02 to go here in the game, and Salmon's up 50 to 43. <laughs> All right, Finn to kick this one away. And a Push. short one, and it'll go out. No, it won't no. go out of bounds. It'll stay in. Salmon picking it up, looking to race toward the middle, looking to cut it up field, and he'll be down after crossing the 30-yard line. That was uh, Jalen Robinson. Robinson on the tried to run. He, right, he ran about 30 yards and picked up five because he ran all the way across the field uh, versus running straight ahead. And uh, Spartans have squandered a 21 point lead. It's down to seven now. So first and 10 for the Spartans. Motion across and they're gonna say the Spartans jumped, false start. You know, I've seen this out of both teams. That motion, no matter what you're doing, Seems to throw them all, both of them off. And I know they practice it every day, but it just I mean, line up, snap the ball, and run a play. When I say run it, they should have been Sim running. The simpler, the better, especially before this. Right. Now it's a seven-point game, but back when Salmon had a bigger lead, keep it simple. High snap. Give goes to Kasnave straight ahead. Oh, my goodness. Kasnave now off to the races. 40, 30. Well, here we down run down from behind. Yeah. But a huge gain by this Salmon. Is, this is what I'm saying before. Just run the football. Yeah. Run the clock out. Go to your bread and butter. Straight ahead to, to Kasnave. Don't, 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 don't make it complicated, right? Don't make it complicated. Make it simple. Salmon down to the 22-yard line. 5.30 on the clock here in the fourth. High snap. And it's a give to Jefferson. Racing ahead, breaking tackles. Jefferson in is zone. in for the score. 22-yard touchdown run by Jacoby Jefferson. And the extra point unit is on the field. Wow. Just when you think you've dug yourself out of the hole, boom, you're back. And, it, and, it, and Salmon's simplicity puts you back in the hole. 
yes, versus them trying to be too fancy and right. try to throw the football and, you know. Snap is back. Place kick is up. And it's good. 5-12 to go here in the game. Salmon up, 57-43. What's our first semester? And this one kept short by Barracat. Brown gets it. Brown racing forward, and he thought he was coming through. Yeah, hard runner. And I think, no, it looked like we were going to have to step away for an injury timeout, but uh, he got up. So Pearl River has five minutes and five seconds trailing by two scores. I think he can give the ball to Jenkins. Took it to the house last time. Or you fake it to him and hit a bat on that little, on the tight end. That's also been tremendous. Fakes to give, Wadsworth looking to pass. And he hits Benson. Noah Benson, the freshman. That was the first basically down. the play. That was basically the play. Except right instead there. of Sabath, it went to Benson. Right. Play action pass, crossing the field on a crossing route, and he <coughs> drilled it in there. The defensive back went for the, uh, tried to get the interception. Unsuccessfully. Snap is back. Wadsworth looking to pass. Pressure bearing down, and he'll be sacked. A loss of seven on the sack. Austin Wadsworth on the keeper. Darian White on the tack. The oh. aforementioned number 73. Ah, yes. Throwback to the beginning of the game. Correct. <clears throat> Wadsworth is under center. Calls for it. Looking to pass his pressure. Yeah, I mean, pressure was there immediately. And he's sacked by Hartley. Dwayne Hartley. It was, I mean, right off the snap, Hartley was chasing Wadsworth from behind. 3.54 to go here in this one. And that makes it second and even uh, longer. Middle screen. Get that middle screen again. It's They're been coming effective. in. They're coming in. Middle yeah. screen. Wadsworth calling for it. Pressure coming. There it is. But it's blown up. By who? It, by Kasnave. He was in my headset. Kasnave. <laughs> Good play. Great play, really. Fourth down now. We're not punting the ball. Come on, coach. It's a fake. It's got to be a fake. Got to be a fake at this point. Come on. Yeah, I mean, 3.06 on the clock. You're, not, you're down two scores. Where's that trick play? They need to be playing defense. They are. Oh, they're acting like somebody needs to be out there. 19, get out there. Get here. Three seconds on the play clock. Two, one, zero, zero. Well, play got no off, whistle. though. And it is no a punt. Whistle. Kuzan back to return. Kuzan hauls it in, and he'll be uh, dropped immediately. Okay. The Pearl River got away with one there. That, that's going to say, the referees missed one there. Yeah. That was a zero plus one. <laughs> but 2.36. Let's see. <laughs> Don't throw the football. Snap is back. Give goes to Casnave. Straight ahead. Casnave, another stiff arm, and he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Yeah, late and a late flag. Somebody because was why not? Why not? And I get played by the hour. Do they know that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think they do. First 
You know, here, it's an unsportsmanlike conduct called on Pearl River, but it, you know, it, here's the deal. They they know that it's it's not the refs, right? Yeah, it's the kids. It's Be quiet. A, yeah, that's it. They're that's they're it. enforcing the rules that are in place in the game, right? And you know, I love to criticize a ref. Oh, don't but we I, all? But I'm not gonna. I can't do it here. Right. Don't run your mouth. So we play such a down. It is first and ten. We're out about the twenty-nine. Snap is back. Give goes to Kaznave. Kaznave bobbles it. It's loose, and Keys will fall on top of it. Keys on our keep. No game. Bumbalaya, right there. <laughs> Clock running, a minute 50 left here in this one. And the play clock hasn't started. Snap is back. Give goes to Casnave. And he'll be gang tackled down. Gets about back to the original line of scrimmage. The play clock never started on that previous no, it play. Did. No, it's uh, uh, We're informed that the play clock's broken. We have a technical difficulty up here. We'll keep the play clock on the field. Keys calls for it. Give goes to Cass Damon. He had trouble securing that one. That one nearly uh, came out. Wow. That should that should end it right that here. That should about do it. About 30 seconds left. Let's see if Salmon will line up. I don't even think they have to take any. Do you? <clears throat> no, they can let. I think they can let this run. Yes, yeah, Salmon is going to go off to the side. So. Heck of a matchup here, this rivalry matchup. Salmon is going to win it 57 to 43 as the clock ticks down and uh, players get ready to slap hands from Rebel Stadium where Salmon wins 57 43. Grant Yenny and Tiger Edwards up here in the press box. Good night.